Hello, welcome to Intro to Spinal Reengineering. I'm Dr. Dave Schwartz. You probably met Dr. Dodd, Dr. Mohar, and Dr. Hammer as well. Today we're going to talk about ways to get the best results quickest out of your chiropractic care here. So remember, chiropractic care has many health benefits from that, including immune health, quality of sleep, decreased stress and blood pressure, improved circulation and digestion, better strength, flexibility. Tends to decrease pain, stress levels, uh, hopefully less prescription drugs will be needed when you're under care, uh, fatigue, better energy levels, and hopefully prevent future injuries for you as well. One thing I always like to mention, if you're feeling sick, you're not feeling well, that's an important time to come in and get adjusted. It's not when you want to call out and miss appointments. Studies show that post-adjustment, you get an improved immune function, you get a stimulation of T-cell production, which helps your body fight off infections. So you always want to make sure you come on those days. The staff will put you in a separate office, will sterilize anything, so you're not going to infect everybody else. So make sure you don't miss those days if you're feeling sick. Also days when you have a lot of stress, you have too much to do, you feel like you don't have time to get here, that's when you need to be even more because that's when subluxation is going to be created and things are going to get worse. So what's so important about spinal reengineering and really treating the cause of your problems, of your pain? Well, the alternatives are just not that great. You might have heard the study, talked about a very popular painkiller, Lyrica, which was one of the most prescribed drugs, did $3 billion in sales. They finally did what's called a double-blind placebo-controlled study where they had people taking Lyrica and they also had t people taking sugar pills. And what they found was, you know, after a year, the 209 patients, there was no difference in the level of back pain, quality of life, or degree of disability of those taking the Lyrica versus those taking the placebo. And that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So that's not, you know, a chiropractic publication. It's not just me saying that. That's one of the leading medical journals coming out and saying that. So not a great choice for your, your back and leg pain there. The other thing is those prescription drugs have serious consequences. You know, we all hear about the opioid crisis, you know, some 40,000 deaths last year just related to that. You know, overall prescription deaths, you look at it constantly on the rise up to 70,000 last year, and that's straight from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, so we definitely want to avoid those when we can. You can see here painkiller sales and overdose deaths, obviously they go hand in hand. The more painkillers are sold, the more people are dying from them. So we definitely want to avoid those. And remember, it's not just the prescription drugs, it's not just the Oxycontin and the Vicodin. There's also up to 16,000 deaths, you know, people with arthritis from gastrointestinal toxic effects of your non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. That's over-the-counter stuff like ibuprofen, you know, popular in Advil and medications like that. So that is not a good long-term strategy to manage your pain. You want to stay away from those. So when that doesn't work, kind of the next step typically in the medical community is surgery for your back problems. And unfortunately, in our office, we see patients all the time who are the results of failed back surgeries or failed neck surgeries. Ohio's Worker Compensation did a study where they checked all those four, over 1,400 patients who participated with disc degeneration and disc herniation. And what they found that after two years, only 26% of those who had the surgery had returned to work, where 67% who didn't have the surgery were back at work. And the other thing that really makes this bad is those who had the surgery were taking more pain medication after that, a 41% increase in pain medication. So, you know, we know the dangers of those. So they're not back at work and they're taking poor medication. So very bad results with back surgery. Overall, you know, if you look at our health here in the United States, we're doing a terrible job. You know, if you compare us to all these nations that are kind of similar to us socioeconomically, you look where we rank, you know, 11th out of 11 in our overall health. But, you know, the only thing we're number one is, is right down here in the health expenditures per capita. And you see, you know, we're at $8,500. Um, we're more than double most of these countries. And in fact, you know, the UK, which is number one throughout there, you know, they're spending well less than half on healthcare. So it's not a money thing. It's a matter of we're not focused on the right things. We're focused on treating symptoms rather than treating the causes. And that's what we want to do here. So the big difference, and some of you may have been to other chiropractors before, treated symptomatically. So certainly I want to see your back pain 
go away if that's what you came here with or your neck pain. That's what started me out in chiropractic. I hurt my back. So I was treated symptomatically and eventually over time I learned I had so many other benefits. You know, I wasn't sick as much as, as my friends. I never, I mean, I've been doing this 21 years. I've never called in sick for a day of work. Uh, so my immune fu system functions well and I'm able to kind of do the things I want to do without having problems. I prevent them by getting adjusted regularly. So we've got five steps in our office, and this is really what kind of differentiates us from the symptomatic chiropractors and most other chiropractors out there. So before your adjustment, you're gonna warm up with traction and wobble exercises to help everything loosen up so you can get the best adjustment that you can get. First, place the traction unit over the door and close the door tightly. The handlebar should be at the level of your collarbone. If it's not, adjust the height by tying a knot in the rope or adjusting the strap. Place the curved part in the back of your neck and cushion under your chin. Hold the bar with an underhand grip. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. With your chin resting on the bar, squat down. You should feel a stretch in the front of your neck while your body weight is being supported by the back of your neck. You should be able to talk and breathe normally. Each repetition should take two to three seconds and you should have about 50% of your body weight supported by the traction unit. You will do 10 repetitions in the office as a warm up before your adjustment. You will do 60 to 120 reps at home depending on your prescription. Traction should not be painful. If it is uncomfortable, stop and notify your doctor at your next appointment. Place the wobble cushion on the chair with the pointy side down. When sitting on the wobble, sit up tall and engage your core muscles. First, wobble side to side. Next, you'll wobble front to back. Finally, you will rotate. Do each movement 10 times as a warm up before your adjustment to help loosen up your muscles to allow for a better adjustment. Do each movement 20 times at home to maintain range of motion and promote hydration of the discs. The worst posture to sit in is a C curve like this. So we want to sit up tall, restore our normal spinal curves, or you can bring your spine forward, keeping your head back, rest your elbows on your knees. Number two, we're always going to adjust you in what we call the mirror image position, so you'll be positioned opposite your posture. Studies show that adjusting that way helps us to correct posture. Ultimately, if we correct the posture, we're going to have a better chance to correct the x-rays, which is what we want. Because remember that structure always determines function, so better structure is better function. That's what we want to have. Number three, we're going to set our adjustments doing the vibration plate. So after your adjustment, you'll vibrate with specific body weights. They're prescribed specific to your x-rays. The postural muscles that we need to strengthen and work are gonna work because of how we have those weights positioned. And then the vibration plate kind of cause those muscles to fire up to 60 times a second. So you're getting the maximum benefit of that right after your adjustment. Following your adjustments, you will do vibration with body weighting. Placement of weights is specific to each individual's x-rays. Anterior chest weight. Simply place the cushion behind your head and let the weight hang in front. The bottom of the weight should be at the bottom of your chest. Posterior chest weight. Place the weight on your back and the cushion in the front. Buckle straps over the cushion. The bottom of the weight should be at the bottom of your shoulder blades. Anterior pelvic weight. Buckle the strap behind you and let the weight hang in front. The top of the weight should be at your waist. Posterior pelvic weight. Buckle the strap in front and let the weight hang behind. The top of the weight should be at your waist. Left lateral pelvic weight. Buckle strap on the right and let the weight hang at your left. The top of the weight should be at your waist. Right lateral pelvic weight. Buckle strap on the left and let weight hang at your right side. The top of the weight should be at your waist. Left cross pelvic weight. Buckle strap on your right and let the weight hang down on the left. The strap should be above your waist and the weight should hang at your hip. Right cross pelvic weight. Buckle strap on your left and let the weight hang down on the right. 
The strap should be above your waist and the weight should hang at your hip. Head weight. Place weight around your head with the weight in the front. Tighten the strap so the weight will remain on your head just above your eyebrows. While doing vibration plate, stand on the vibration plate, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent in a nice athletic posture. Move your chin straight back and look straight ahead. Hit the start button one time. If you have your balance, let your arms hang at your side. If you do not feel comfortable, you may hold the handle. If you'll feel pain, nausea, or dizziness, turn off the machine and notify an assistant. Then we're gonna do prescribed home traction and exercises daily to help hold your adjustments. Lie face down. Slowly lift your head up as far as you can, keeping your shoulders down. Hold this position for 30 seconds. The burnout exercise is done two days per week. Move your head slowly up and down as many times as you can until your muscles fatigue. If you find that you are not becoming fatigued with the normal burnouts, you can add the head weight. These exercises should not produce neck or back pain. If they do, stop and notify your doctor at your next appointment. Then we're going to live the six essentials to help prevent future problems. So I don't want to be fixing your back while you're out creating new health problems for us. We want to get you on the path to being healthy and well right now. This is an important chart I want to look at. You may have seen it and remember it from your doctor's report, but I want to review it again because many people still fall back into that trap of judging their health by their symptoms, judging their health by whether or not they're in pain. If you look up here, remember only about 10% of those spinal nerves are pain sensitive. So the other 90% are controlling what we call either motor nerves that go to your muscles or their autonomic nerves that go to your organs, your glands, control skin temperature, all that stuff that happens inside your body without you thinking about it. So if you're not compressing that 10%, that sensory, you're not gonna be in pain, but those subluxations, those spinal misalignments are still gonna be affecting your health. So six essentials. So remember, we wanna start every day with our spiritual mental alignment, 15 minutes of daily prayer meditation, whatever your thing is, having that quiet time is really important way to start your day. We start every day here with the Daily Bread. I listen to the app on my phone on the way into work, and I kind of get that, and then we'll talk about it a little bit here in our morning meeting. Uh, research proves that reading something spiritual prior to sleep allows for faster, deeper sleep and decreases stress. So you definitely want to work that into your daily routine. Second, we have the physical alignment. So we're going to practice good posture habits. I always encourage everyone to attend or watch online our posture workshop. Uh, remember that optimal spine leads to optimal health. Allowing the proper structure creates proper function in our nervous system, which controls everything going on inside your body. And you know we're going to get yearly spinal checks and X-rays, and you're going to be adjusted, you know, weekly at least until the X-ray is corrected. Three is our nutritional alignment. We want to try to eat what's really called an anti-inflammatory diet, what we call close to the vine. So. 75% at least on the vine, you know, fruits, vegetables, grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, wild-caught fish, all those foods that tend to be really anti-inflammatory in your body. We're going to stay away from the processed foods, especially sugar, refined and artificial sweeteners, all really bad for you. Uh, refined carbohydrates, the white breads, the white rice, uh, those, those things turn quickly into sugar, which is really inflammatory in your body, and inflammation plays a role in cancer, heart disease, you know, diabetes, just about all things that end up killing most of us. So we want to keep that down in our body. We're going to increase good fats. And then we're going to take, you know, quality whole food supplements. Generally recommend for most people a good multivitamin, an omega-3 or a fish oil, and a vitamin D3 with a probiotic. Uh, we may talk specifically with you about some other recommendations based on your case. Four, we're always going to exercise in alignment. Uh, this is an important thing, especially as you're going, beginning your care, uh, what you do exercise-wise can really help you or it can hurt you. Uh, when you're out of alignment, if you're doing something too traumatic, running a bunch or CrossFit, things like that, can kind of be like you're hammering in a crooked nail. So we may ask you to stop that stuff for the time being until we get you moving the right way, get your structure doing better, then you can get back to the exercise you want to do. Uh, we generally recommend six days a week of either, you know, four aerobic, two anaerobic, or you know, the high intensity interval training, uh, which is a great way to get a workout quickly. We have the Max T3 videos here, which we can talk about. 
we want to rest in alignment. So you should be getting enough sleep every night so you're waking up in the morning without an alarm clock, feeling refreshed. So if you're waking up feeling exhausted and you're hitting the snooze button two or three times and you're running for coffee as soon as you get up, you're probably not getting enough sleep. So you need to either get more or you need to get higher quality sleep, one of the two. So uh, we generally recommend, you know, all of our patients, ideally I want you sleeping on your back, you know, with your prescribed rolls under your lower back and under your neck. And then if you have pelvic wedges, we want you on those as well. Sleep on your cervical and lumbar rolls as prescribed. Place the smaller lumbar roll under the small of your back. Place the larger cervical roll under your neck. You may also be prescribed pelvic wedges on either side and in either high or low position. High position is along your belt line pointed down. Low position is under the back pocket pointed up. So that's the ideal position. You know, the alternative would be to be on one side or the other. Now, most of you, depending on how your spine's curved, probably have a preferred side. And that's just something you can ask your doctor next time you're getting adjusted. We can check your x-rays and tell you if you should be a right side or a left side sleeper. The worst position, and unfortunately my natural position, is sleeping on your stomach. Because if you're on your stomach, you have to turn your head all the way around to breathe. So that's if you do that, that's a habit that you have to break yourself in. It took me a while, but I'm pretty much out of it. So work on sleeping more and more time on your back. Then finally, we want to decrease chemical stress. So we're going to detox. We're going to drink two glasses of water every morning. Uh, you want to be drinking a lot of water every day. My general rule of thumb is about, you know, one ounce for every two pounds of body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you should be drinking 100 ounces of water. So you have to, you know, conscientiously and intentionally drink water every day to get enough. Uh, if you're working outside, if you're super active, obviously you have to drink more than that. Uh, we're going to do a cleanse, you know, usually twice a year. Uh, standard process a 10, 21, or 28 day cleanse. I'll always do one in January, uh, right after New Year's, before the Super Bowl is a great window to do them. Uh, and then also do one sometime in the summer. And then we want to remove chemical stresses from poor diet, medications, environmental toxins as much as we can. Home care is critical. People who get the best results from their spinal reengineering care are usually the ones who do the best job at their home care. So I want to remind you, if you're not doing that stuff, you need to start, you need to get in those habits every day. You lose about 20% of your adjustment every day if you're not doing traction. You lose about 10% if you're not doing exercises. So if you're not doing that stuff, come re-x-ray time, you're not going to get the results that you could get if you were doing that. So I encourage you all to do that. First, we're going to go to the cervical traction. Uh, we'll talk specifically about the wall traction because that's the most common one we do. But for some people, they can't do that, uh, whether they have a knee problem or for some reason they can't do that one. It doesn't mean you're excused from traction. It just means we have to go to one of our alternate methods. So we have the traction wedge. We have the posture pump. So if you're struggling with the wall traction or the overdoor traction at home, just let us know and we can give you an alternative to that because it's important that you get those exercises done. That's essential in restoring that proper neck curve uh, and reducing forward head posture. Then we have our vibration and body weighting, which you'll do here in the office. And then you'll also have a head weight, which you'll be using at home, which is really important, again, to help strengthen these muscles in the back of your neck to help reduce that forward head posture. So a couple other things that we offer in our office, decompression, which can be great for acute back and neck problems, disc injuries, helps kind of stretch everything out, decrease disc herniations. Uh, the laser, again, for acute problems can certainly help those things heal faster. Uh, we do myofascial work. We do acupuncture. So other things in our office that we offer, and usually one of the doctors will let you know, you know, if we suggest that, if that's going to help you get better faster. So we're going to talk about just a couple of x-rays, some great examples of what can happen with spinal reengineering care and how structure can be improved. So this is a 35-year-old male with lower back and bilateral leg pain. Came in, his neck x-ray was terrible. You know, why do we look at the neck, someone who came in with lower back pain? Well, remember that 
as that head moves forward, every millimeter that head moves forward puts up to four pounds of stress down your spine. So if all I did was work on his lower back, I may get it feeling better temporarily, but if I left his head 57 millimeters forward, that pain's just gonna come back. So here he is, you know, his new patient exam, you know, 7, 9, 19, 57 millimeters of forward head posture. Great results, you know, just a month and a half later, that 57 is all the way down to 11. Cervical curve is improved, you know, almost right on where it needs to be. Now he did a great job, not only making his appointments, doing what he had to do here, but also of course doing his home care, traction, neck ups, and all those other things that we asked him to do so he could get the best structural change. So there's another guy here, came in with severe lower back pain. You know, obviously spine on the left was his first picture, leaning well off to the right side. Pelvis was low on the left. He had a lot of lower back pain. He also had a lot of gastrointestinal symptoms, which we learned about later. You know, his re-X-ray, you see him, you know, nice and level across there, pretty much straight up and down. So back pain gone, but a lot of other symptoms that he had are also improved. He kind of told us about that later. You know, he didn't know we could help, you know, with digestive issues until, you know, he kind of noticed things getting better and asked about it and said, yeah, well, the nerves that come out from that lower back go to some of those lower abdominal organs, so sure that can help. So six essentials to wellness, just to summarize, remember, all sickness and disease is caused by toxicities and deficiencies. The number one deficiency is decreased nerve supply. So that's what we're gonna work on with your chiropractic adjustments, correcting subluxations to get your body's nervous system functioning at 100%. Toxicities, you know, come from stuff we put in our mouth, from our diet, from medications, negative thoughts, stress, environmental toxins. So we want to work on these six things, you know, spiritual, mental alignment, your physical alignment, your nutritional alignment, exercise, rest, and staying away from those stresses. If you can do all those things, you're going to get the best results both on your re-x-rays but also overall in your health. I'd like to thank you for coming and remind you we are available to speak on a variety of health and wellness topics at your work group, church group, civic group, you name it. Uh, if you have a group, we're happy. We'll bring you lunch. We'll bring you dinner. We'll come out. We'll do a presentation uh, and help everyone learn more about how to become healthier through chiropractic. Thank you very much.